Hey everybody, it's Curtis and this is Mystery Pop Theater. I've got a little something different for you. Uh, kind of a series of videos I intend on doing where I unbox pops. I know I do a lot of Mystery Box unboxings on my channel, but most collectors of Funko, they uh, buy the pop, they put it in a stack or a protector, and then they throw it up on their shelf and never get to look at the pops in detail and kind of see some stuff that might get missed. So. In these uh, videos, I'm going to open some pops for you, show you uh, show you what they look like inside, all the detail and everything. So, for this first video, I'm going to be doing Barbara and Adam Maitland from Beetlejuice. Uh, this movie came out in 1988. It's been 32 years since Beetlejuice came out. I saw it in the theater when I was 14. It was one I was looking forward to quite a bit. So. Um, that's one reason why I got these pops. That's, this is one of my favorite movies and I've seen it. I lost count how many times I've seen it, but um, I'm going to be using the trusty butter knife. I don't have a name for the butter knife yet. Uh, Gordo, you know, is my razor blade that I usually use, but um, I'll show off some of the box here first before I get too carried away. So here's the box. There's the other pops in the series that you can get. I believe these were Hot Topic exclusives, but then these are these were just commons. I got these from Spastic Pops, or Spastic Collectibles. Uh, so these were made in June of this year, a couple days before my birthday it looks like. Um, so let's open this up. Typically, or you know, once in a while, Funko will put some Easter eggs on the inside flap. So let's see if there's anything in here. So just slide that under and... Yeah, it looks like we've got Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. You know, what else would we have if not that? So, take him out of here. So there's Adam, played by Alec Baldwin. So yeah, there's a lot of a lot of detail on here. Like even the they even got the eyeballs on the fingers, which I always thought was a cool trick in the movie, a cool scene. I don't know really how they put the eyeballs on his fingers so fast. If you go rewatch this scene, um, it happens so fast. And then he puts his he pulls out his nose, puts his hand through the top of his head. So this whole, I mean, if you're not familiar with Beetlejuice, this whole scene is because Adam and Barbara are in the afterlife. They have their afterlife caseworker named Juno. She's like, you gotta get rid of Beetlejuice. Um, he's causing trouble. So Adam and Barbara say, well, we can scare him. We can get him out of there. So she's like, okay, show me how you're gonna be scary. And so this is what they come up with in the movie. So. Uh, so let's move on to Barbara and see what's going on with her. Just pop that out carefully. And there we have the same Easter egg, which is cool. Add them over there. These are ones I was probably going to take out and display because Halloween's right around the corner. So, um, already you can see that there's a lot of stuff that's going on here that you miss just having it in the box. Like the detail on the teeth and the gums and her eyes and the print of her dress. Just a lot of cool detail. Um, yeah, so I saw this movie in theaters when I was 14. I remember convincing my dad to take me and my brother because uh, I was super excited to see this. And my dad ended up falling asleep during the movie. <laughs> Guess it wasn't for him, but uh, still a cool memory of the movie. So yeah, that's um, Adam and Barbara. Uh, this movie did win the Oscar for best makeup. Oh, and I did forget to point out that Barbara comes with the stand. I guess she's a little top heavier. And Adam doesn't. So yeah, you'll need need that stand. He's definitely a lot lighter. Yeah, so they stand up pretty well. 
but that's cool of Funko to give it a stand for those. Uh, anyway, that's all I had for this video. Let me know what you think of this. Um, it's something I'm hoping to do on a more regular basis. I have a lot of pops I can take out of the box and share. So, um, and a lot of these I have never taken out of the box myself. This is the first time I've taken these out to look at them since I got them. I just got them a few days ago, but uh, I've been curious to see how this would go. So let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you on another video. Bye-bye.